Hey, everybody. Welcome to the group chat. I've got with me Cicely Ashcraft. Yay. And we are excited about this new season, this new message series that Pastor John is doing called Searching for Success. Cicely, have you ever like worked with anyone or have a friend that when you ask them a question, they automatically go to, let me Google that for you. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> so is he anytime you ask him a question that's like a google answer away he just jumps straight to it yeah do you i don't know if you ever knew about this but there was something there was a website literally called let me google that for you mm -hmm. and it, it was somebody who googles the question you ask them but it films it like a screen recording and it sends it to the person that asked you the question as if to say hey you should just google it that Instead is of asking so amazing. It's like a super passive aggressive app <laughs> that you can use yes, to troll your friends. Passive -aggressive. So yeah, um, Google has all the information that we need. That's why people turn to Google when they have questions. So we have searched Google to find the thousand questions, the top 1,000 questions. We're not going to go through all of them. So what we're going to do is Cicely and I are going to go through this list of a thousand questions. Uh, I'm gonna challenge you okay. with questions I don't, I want answers to okay. that I may or may not actually have an answer to. And I want you to give me the most scientific, uh, analytical, responsible answer that you can give and or make up immediately on the spot. Back off, here we go. <laughs> now back in. <laughs> That was amazing. Literally are a thousand questions. Um, the most frequently asked question to Google is, why is there a leap day? So, Cicely, why, why does leap day exist? Because long ago, mm -hmm. when the rainbows were invented by the Lord. Yeah, rainbows, exactly. Leprechauns would leave pots of gold mm -hmm. at the end of the rainbow. Right. And it was only... One day every four years that this giant rainbow was formed and these leprechauns would get to the pot of gold leaping over the rainbows. So that's that's why there's a leap day. There you go. If you've been wondering, and I know you have, <laughs> that's why we have. That's why we have leap day on the calendar. Okay, Nick, why are you always lying? The world really wants to know why you always lying. Why you always lying. Whoever you may be. Why you always lying. I feel really bad for you. Is that a Google search? Like, is it Google that's always lying or is it a, a, an individual? You know what? That's really interesting. Like, who could you be? Whoever I, I you felt, is, I feel bad. I, I felt feel bad personally attacked when you <laughs> asked me that question. I, is it true? No. You always lying? No, I'm not always lying. What are you talking about? I am honest. I just thought I'd check. I'm a man of integrity. Listen, 135,000 people think it's pretty important to they know. They do. Absolutely. All right. Cicely, why are cats afraid of cucumbers? <laughs> that's the what the world wants to know i think it's because you know ca you know cats like go way back in time you know with all the egyptians and everything mm -hmm. like they mm -hmm. were they're like the ancient ones so they know a lot i think they know somewhere that a cucumber was never supposed to be invented <laughs> and they just absolutely detest it cucumbers are delicious you I slice them up and you put them in some water and you've got fancy water I'm not the one that is hating on cucumbers. It's the cats. It's the cats. It's the cats. Yeah. I think the cats just have an issue with green things that are cylindrical. I don't know if... There's well, that answer as well. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what they... I mean, it obviously dates back to the Egyptians because I asked Sicily. Sicily is the expert on ancient cat history and uh, is your specialty. So thank you. And thank leprechauns, you apparently. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And leprechauns. <laughs> Yes, and leprechauns. You know how many people are Googling why are flags at half mast today? Uh, uh, honestly, 33,000 people Google that all the time. But like, I never know. I want to know what's going on. I feel like I miss something whenever uh, I see flags at half mast. <laughs> I love this one. Why is the internet so slow? <laughs> 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 like you, you went to the internet. How yeah. long did it take you to get that answer? <laughs> it felt like you're in a perpetual cycle of frustration, <laughs> where you're just like, "Oh, my internet's so slow. Why is my internet? Oh, it's still so slow. <laughs> I don't get it." <laughs> but people want to know about their health 
and I'm I'm concerned that they're they're going to the wrong source for information. Uh, a simple statement like, "Why does my stomach hurt?" I don't know if you've ever used Web WebMD to self-diagnose, but don't. don't. Don't go Basically, to web. you're dying all the time. Every time. Every it gives time. you the worst diagnosis, <laughs> and it basically pronounces you dead in a week. So, Or the fact that you're already dead. Yeah, it can also Like, do. you're, you're you a walking la- zombie. Yeah, you died last week, Cicely. <laughs> That's why you have a no, hangnail. Oh, no. Yeah, your body is now in a process. <sighs> why am I so gassy? <laughs> <laughs> Why? That may be a question that was asked in desperation. <laughs> you're getting ready for a date. You know, you're nervous. You know, the first time I was going to uh, spend some time with Beth, my wife, I was nervous, you know, and you just want to get down to the bottom of things. <laughs> Here's a good question. Why is life so hard? Man, that's a question we all want an answer to. Really and truly. Well, why is life so hard? Like, what do you think the response is from Google on that one? I think it's all, I don't think that there's an answer. I just think that it's like just this stream of all these people commenting. Yeah. Like, yeah, same bro. Yeah. Same. (laughs) Yeah. Me too. (laughs) Need an answer. Like, it's just the unanswered question. Uh, It's actually um, like a bodybuilding elf. It's short and hard. (laughs) (laughs) Why are you like, why are you like this? (laughs) Why do dogs eat their poop? Maybe like there's some leftover like part of their meal from the day before and they just were, you know, starving. They had nothing so else to eat. That's the equivalent of like human leftovers for dogs. You know, now you're really making me rethink leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> that's really gross. I think it's because they're really environmentally conscious. They're, like they wanna they wanna remove like they want a small footprint. And they're just like, you know what? Some dog, probably me, pooped here. There's only one way to get rid of it. Poor dogs. Maybe so. Maybe they just, they're really environmentally conscious. Okay, what about why is the ocean salty? (laughs) Because the lake broke up with her. Yes. This is a great answer. <laughs> the lake like she's so dumped salty. her and now she's so salty. Or what about that cliche answer about how it like holds every tear that's ever been cried? Oh, wow. Every <sighs> tear that's Just ever hurts. been cried. It hurts my heart. But then it's like also awkward that you're swimming in tears. <laughs> It's like, want to go have fun? Why do we always have to take it to that level? <laughs> Why, but, but like you, you get the kids, you get the family together or your friends and you're like, what? You know, it'd be a lot of fun. What? Swimming in all of the tears in the world. <laughs> we also call that the beach. Um, yeah, we're going to go with the the breakup one. I like that one a little bit better. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's group chat. As we're searching for success, We're uncovering some really incredible things that are happening in this city. Next week, we're going to be talking about that kid who made $24 million. He was eight years old. Eight years old. Just eight. Yeah. Success isn't all about making millions of dollars, but it's hard not to say that an eight-year-old who made $24 million isn't successful. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't say that at all. (laughs) So tune in. We love that you're spending some time with us. Uh, Like, follow, and subscribe.